Number two, the Buick Encore. Why won't anybody love me? Excuse me. I just threw up in my mouth a little. I don't know, maybe I have it out for Buick, because when it came time for GM to save their collective asses from going bankrupt, they picked Buick over Saab, a company with a rich heritage that made cars like no other company. Cars that were actually well built at one point before GM took over. They were safe, reliable, practical, and stylish. One-of-a-kind cars. I loved Saab. And I hate Buick. Hate is a really strong word, but I reserve it for the Buick. And at the center of my hatred for this Altacaca brand is this chubby, egg-like cockroach of a compact SUV, the Encore. Once known for being GM's luxury brand, second to Cadillac, also being responsible for this enthusiast gem, Buick offered comfort and luxury at a price slightly more affordable than Caddy, appealing to a certain demographic of a certain age. But as the greatest generation is, well, <clears throat> dying off, Buick seems desperate to appeal to a younger, fresher buyer, and the conflict they face while trying to restyle their brand but also maintain their signature elements that make them who they are results in egg-shaped garbage like this. This is a car that has almost zero practical value. It's an SUV with little room on the interior. An SUV that I wouldn't even dare take on a dirt road. It's not luxurious, it's not really comfortable, and it has no aesthetic appeal. It has no foot in the door of classic American design, nor does it look in any way modern or innovative. It's nothing. Yet it's not bland enough to go unnoticed by me. It's too damn ugly. And it drives like garbage. There, I said it. Who do you know that's ever muttered the words, I dream of one day owning a Buick? I don't even like the way this car smells. <sighs> GM. It's got like multiple way power adjustable seating for the for the for the for the ass part, but for your back part, it's got this old school lever that's way back here that I can't reach and it works like a broken old stupid, stupid car. Somebody out there is going to like this car. And good on you for it. Hey, you know what would look really cool? Blue surrounds right next to amber reflectors, because those two colors together scream elegance and are in no way tacky. Hey, while we're at it, let's put faux air intakes right under the headlights so they look like they're sticking their tongues out. Or if you look at the car from back here, it just looks tired. Yeah, that's great. Speaking of faux air intakes, faux air intake. Faux air intake. And finally, faux air intake. And now the piece de resistance, faux grill. Only half of the grill is real. You can see over here, the bottom half is where I can put my fingers through. That's, that's the real grill. Starting about there, that's all solid fake plastic. Well, the whole grill is plastic. <sighs> You're tacky and I hate you. Okay, well, maybe the interior won't be so bad. I mean, hey, that's a nice headrest, clean, simple, nice faux leather material, and then, up, uh, up, uh, no, 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 no. Hasn't the auto industry learned their lesson about patterned upholstery yet? What is this, my grandmother's condo in Florida that was redecorated in the 1990s and hasn't been touched since? Speaking of my grandmother, why does this e-brake release button remind me of her fingernail? Ew. Redeeming interior quality. The only semblance of aforementioned classic American design are the gauges here. I like the gauges, but that's where it ends. Ugh. Gross. Slowick. 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 Spewick. Buick. Buick. If Humpty Dumpty were a car, he'd be a Buick Encore. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to pay a visit to the number one spot on the list of ugliest cars on the lot. But first, some honorable mentions. The latest iteration of the Honda Civic now in its 10th generation with enough contrasting angles to send an architect to the nuthouse. Excuse yourself from the table, Civic. Calm down the boy racer flare and please return to planet Earth. The Cadillac SRX, because what's a list of ugly cars without at least two from GM? Because it's basically the Buick Encore with folded up edges. And while it's certainly not as eggy as the Encore, like the Sportage, Cadillac's modern design cues don't fall onto the bulky SUV body proportionally. In my opinion, yada yada yada. The Cadillac SRX, it SUX. 
And the final honorable mention goes to the Jeep Cherokee for falling so far from grace and rugged simplicity. What happened to the understated form over function design of the original Cherokee, which later became the Cherokee Sport, while the Grand Cherokee was knighted the official car of the helicopter parent? The Wrangler managed to keep its integrity intact. Why can't you be more like your brother, the Wrangler? And are you allergic to something, Cherokee? Did you eat something funny or get stung by a bee? You got slits for eyes and your grill's sticking out. Go rub some ointment on your face. It looks swollen.